Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel, Dada of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel, or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God, and I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. And as the title says, this is going to be part two of my bookshelf reorganization, and that is going to be this three-row bookshelf that I have here. I am going to be flipping the shelves around, taking the books off and going through them and seeing which books I want to keep and which I don't. As you can see, um, the top right now looks a hot mess. I'll show you guys. Uh, looks a hot mess right now. That's my printer. I have containers and little baggies on the side and these I have not used. It's a hot mess. So we just want to focus right here on like this section. So as I said, this third row, oh, I thought my rug was all the way down. But like I said, this third row really is just um printer paper it's uh like stuff for like avery card stock and binders that has like different things um in it so i am going to organize this part but probably not on camera um yeah probably not on camera i'm just going to be focusing on this top row and this second row um and this second row houses a lot of my small mini devotional books and this top row houses most of my bibles um, and then some of my larger Devo books and planners and notepads and stuff like that. Um, I have some of my journals here that I use the most here. And so that's what this pretty much is. So I'm going to be organizing that, listening to some music. I do have, if I can reach it, you guys can see my yoga mat behind me. And that is my flag that I dance with at church. But I have here, so this is a white hot chocolate with some lavender syrup as well as I dyed the creamer that i'm using in lavender so it's a lavender white hot chocolate and it's actually really good um really good so that is like beyond delicious <laughs> but um i'm gonna be organizing this my nephew is actually on gonna be coming home today um instead of saturday which i thought it was saturday which is why my son had left early to his dad's but um my son will be back tomorrow my nephew's coming today and I believe I'm still going food shopping today. Um, I am feeling a little bit better. I think that hot shower helped out a lot with my neck. My arm really still hurts to the touch. Like, there is a knot right here in my arm. And it hurts, like... Yeah, it's not on this side. There's literally a knot here. I'm not sure what was up with that. But, um... I'm okay. I don't have a fever anymore. Fever broke. But, um, no chills. No hot flashes so far today. Um, and it's almost 1 o'clock. So we're gonna get into it i'm gonna do a montage you guys can see me take things off you can see some of the books on here and i'll probably do it how i did with the first bookshelf organization if you haven't seen that click the article to that video but um in the first one i um basically just showed you guys the front row but i might show you guys the back row as well with the bibles and stuff we'll see how that goes um i'm debating if there's any bibles up there i need to put no most of the bibles up there i do utilize so because i have bibles on top of my desk area that i do use on a daily basis and so um yeah i'm going to get my music going i'm going to listen to my worship playlist quickly i gotta go listen to that and um yeah let's start <laughs>
Okay, guys, so I finished organizing, as you saw. There was a slight hiccup at the beginning because I had put all the books on the shelf and forgot to turn the actual row around, so I did that. And, um, yeah. So I forgot I had these three notepads on there. So I took those off. I forgot to put those with the rest of my notepads. I did take off some things. I took off my devotional Bible for women. This is from Ellie Claire. Um, I buy a lot of her Bible tabs off of Amazon. You guys are normally always asking me about the sparkly pink and Labrador ones in my Bibles. I get them off of Amazon from her. And this is in the King James Version. And this is actually the Bible that I was using to just simply read through as if, like, the Bible is a storybook. Um, and, like, I have a color coding system in here. And I'll probably do a video on this Bible. But, um... I literally just read through and highlight as I read um, because I'm, I use this in correlation with studying the Bible. So sometimes there are pages with no highlighting. Like sometimes it's just not interesting to me. And a lot of Leviticus I didn't care for. Here's some parts of Leviticus that I liked. But um, I was just reading through and I made it up to Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 13. 1 Samuel chapter 12, I never continue on, um, and this, I started at the beginning of the year, and I, I, I had stopped and gave up on it, because I do want to read through the entire Bible, as if it's a book, I want to just read through it, and so, I forgot I had this, so I took it out, because I want to keep this by my bed, so that I'm at least making a habit of reading two chapters in the morning, two chapters at night. I also took out these two, um, boxes for my, uh, Women's Study Bible from Thomas Nelson, and then the Spirit-Filled Life Bible, in KG in kjv because i can put my bibles in them um well my spiritual life bible can't go in here because i have it inside of a pink case but i could put my other bible in here just to keep it safe and sound um so that there's no dust build up i also took off a few books so i took the how to pray off this is by john wesley yeah i took this off so i can put this on my reference shelf and then i took off the sunday bible trivia from um the brand sunday to put that also on my reference shelf with the other q a books that i have and then I took these three off. So 90 Days with God, with the God Who Speaks. Um, this is from BH Publishing. I took this off. I got this for review. Um, I'm just not intrigued enough to keep it anymore. It is a good devotional. Um, and then it comes with like two questions at the bottom for your um, thought processing. But I'm just not inclined to keep it, honestly. So I'm going to pass this along. Probably in the giveaway that I'm still waiting to record. Um, and then 365 devotions to love God and love others well. I utilized it for a while. Um, I don't even know. I don't think I highlighted anything in here or marked it. But I did utilize it for a while. And it's a nice one. It's cute and pretty. But um, I just don't feel the need to keep it anymore. This is from Zondervan. Um, I'm not even sure what the translation is. just like a specific... Yeah, they use multiple translations. So they have the voice, the NLT, the HCSB, the ESB, the CSB, um, and the A, the ASB and the NIV. I just, I don't know. I'm just not intrigued, inclined to keep it. I have lots of devotionals here. So this one I'm going to pass on. And then this small one from um, Sarah Young, 40 Days with Jesus Celebrating His Presence. Um, it's just a small one of just short devos. I guess it's a compilation from all of her books. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, the ex excerpts from Jesus Calling and Jesus Lives, and I have Jesus Lives, I have Jesus Always, and I have Jesus Calling in the pink edition here. Um, I also had the turquoise, but I gave the turquoise to my mom. So because they're excerpts, I don't really need this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pass that along. And so here's what I am working with as of now. Let me make sure my son's chair doesn't fall on me. <laughs> so in the back, you saw all of my Bibles um, back there. And in the front, I have... All of my journals here so they're not organized i will be organizing my journals by um actually i can do that on camera with you guys now so you guys can see um so i have all of these journals here right let's just let's just go through them okay okay and so i have this one here which is actually for my dance ministry it's a notebook specifically for the dance ministry so i'm gonna stick that in the back here and then I have my church's Bible study notebook where I put um, a lot of like my notes and stuff from the Bible studies that we do. Um, this is more so previously from like 2020 um, when I wasn't teaching. This point I have one from 2018 in here um, because a lot of the times what we do is we have printouts. I don't know if they're down here. This is why I need to fix the section down here because I have a lot of stuff. Yeah, so like we have a lot of like printouts and stuff. From our bible studies and powerpoints and things like that so i have to actually 
punch holes in these and put these in a binder um which i'm sure is a binder down here somewhere so we're gonna stick that right after the project unity um then i have my devotional nurture journal which i use with my devos um sometimes i will write notes out in my notebooks um and so this one i think is pretty filled yeah it's pretty filled up um a good amount filled up in here a good amount of pages so i'll stick that next and then i have one specifically for michael todd of transformation church or tc because i do a lot i take a lot of notes from his sermons as you can see um the last sermon that i listened to was anchored mark my words um and i need to finish that so yeah actually the last one that i never completed because i left blank space for it <laughs> was um crazy faith and i left a lot of blank space for crazy faith so i finished crazy faith um i was at maybe faith here i didn't even write a lot of notes and then i have these pages here to finish it out so i actually need to go back to that series finish it out and then continue on with um what is it anchored i think that's the series called yeah anchored so um i keep a specific journal for him because i do watch his services um then i also have another one for bible study notes this is specifically for when i'm doing um teaching and stuff like that so when i'm specifically teaching i use this one to write my extra notes out because i have like um, my powerpoint so like this one says teaching notes so points that i don't want to really put on the powerpoint but i do want to make sure that i mention i'm going to put this by the churches bible study notes actually let's fix that here we go um and then this is one of my prayer journals so we're going to leave that here that's a prayer journal this is for doi that's for writing this is for my business all right all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do my prayer journals next so i have this prayer journal here which is my request journal where i put in requests for other people i write in it for other people outside of myself so that's next actually i'm gonna make sure my prayer journals are at the end easier for me to get to then i have my personal one which i am still never getting through we ain't gonna talk about that um i have the one for my son put that in the front and then y'all know the one that i recently started um the one for my future husband i put that there um and then we can put the bible study stuff there um then i have a bunch of other journals here so this one is my kim cash tate one um for when she does her bible studies i took part in her clean james study um so i have my notes from that james one two three um, four, I think I did five as well, right? So we, I did James with her. I did Ruth as well. Ruth one, two, three, four. And then I think the other one was John, but I never went back to finish John. So I have this here to put her notes in. So we can put that there. And then I just have my other journal. So I have the two journals for Daughter of Grace, which I've been slacking on. Hopefully 2022, I can get that back up and running. Um, and pretty much in here, I just have, you know, information about when it launched, um, when it was founded, the colors, the secondary color scripture about it, age groups, and then video idea bank. And then, um, you know, when I'm making videos, I will put notes here. So this, I think, was an introduction and welcome video. And then I talked about who I was, about DOI, about DOG, the scheduling, what to expect in social medias. And then I listed, like, scriptures and stuff like that. Sorry about that, my sister came in the room. Um, but this journal is from Isaiah 4110, Fear Not For I Am With You. Um, so we're going to put that there. Then we have my DOI one, of course, which I have used somewhat. Um, I have put... Oh, right, I had a lot of video ideas in here. Like, I have a video bank of ideas. Some of these, you can see, I've crossed out, some I have not. Um... Same thing, DOI, and then I put increase in, like, what I... Because I'm definitely going to be changing the slogan of DOI soon and changing my intro video, but I'm still trying to debate on how I want to go about that. Um, and then I have, like, my top 10 covers. Because these are videos I'm going to be doing. So top 10 covers for, like, biblical fiction, Christian fiction, and nonfiction. I'm going to have that soon. Um, I also have Bible studies and devotionals, and I have my favorite Christian YouTubers. I have not filled out, but I do have my favorites. Um, my favorite book spines that I'll be sharing with you guys. Then I have like the, the tags that I've done. So like I write the questions out. Um, I have to do's on what needs to be done for the month. I have my 2021 goals, um, as well as my word of the year with my verse of the year. I really haven't done most of this. Um, 
videos that I wanted to make from January to March, which <laughs> have not been done. Um, well, actually, some of these have been done. I take that back. I just need to update this list. Um, my favorites from 2020, honorable mentions. I don't even know if I did the video on that, so I need to do that. Um, then I have, like, books from Jamie Jo Wright and Melanie Dickerson that I want to read. I want to read all of their books. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much idea banks, videos, and things like that there. And then I have these last two. Um, this one is my design notebook. So I have a company where I, I, I call it Nate and these Designs for now because I have nothing else to call it. Um, but it's pre pretty much the company that I, or the business that I have for doing t-shirts, flyers, and things like that. And so I have like important information about my cutter. Um, some of the orders that I've done are written out in here things like that so anytime somebody gets sent um once a t-shirt or a flyer or something done i write it out in here and keep track of that so that i know um there is another journal that i'm missing which i guess i don't know where that journal is or if i even remember where i put it so i'm probably gonna have to make a new one um is this it oh no this is my migraine journal i started tracking the migraines um that i started getting in since august so i would track them anytime i have a migraine i write it down and write my um thoughts and stuff like that i'll put that back up but last one i have is my writing journal um and this if you guys don't know i love writing writing is my passion i've written partial books um and things like that and so i want to write books god has put it in my heart to write books but i'm very very afraid to do them and um the first book that i wanted to do was a devotional a 30-day devotional um and i have like an idea and layout of how i want that done um you know i write my ideas and stuff like that inspirations and stuff and like i have the topics and stuff like i have everything written out my scripture references um then i have books for like biblical fiction ideas that i want to do then I would have meetings with, like, my, my sisters. We would talk about our goals and stuff like that. I remember my pastor came because my pastor actually wrote a few books. Um, and she came and she gave us her, her tips and stuff like that. So, like, I had wrote down those notes and highlighted some few points. Um, but honestly, I just, I never went back to, to writing. So, I have this here because I want to make sure that I do write. Um, that's something that I, I want to make sure that I do. Um, the only journal that is missing from this area that will go here once I, I guess, make it um, is going to be my dream journal um, or interpretation journal where I interpret dreams and visions for people. So, um, yeah, we're going to put that there. But those are that. Um, then this is a five-minute Bible study journal. These are two of my five-year journals. One for my son is daily questions for you and your child, and then my five-year daily question journal, which I don't really keep up with the most. I think the last time I did this was what? July 16th. Um, we're now in September. I mean, we're now in November. So uh, let's just move that to November. And I think I started these in 2017, maybe. So I'm just going to move this to November and um, try to keep track of that. So even though it's supposed to be five years, these are more like six, seven years because, you know, I ain't really keeping track of everything. So I think, yeah, 2017 was when I initially started this journal. But some years I wrote in it, some years I didn't, so we have that. Um, then we have some of the devotionals that I started out reading. So God is Faithful, we have Lies Young Women Believe. Um, the book I'm using to study with my sister, Awaken by Priscilla Shire. I think I just have 30 more days to go. I did up to day, what was it? I did up to day 63. So I just have um, 30 more to go and I'll be done with that book. Um, what is this? Book of Inspiration for Girlfriends, a one-year uh, devotional, another one-year devotional. This one is Love Talk. Um, it's pretty much a marriage one that I started reading, I think, the first couple of devos. Some Bible studies that I do want to do, which probably shouldn't even be over here, um, but whatever. Um, then some other ones that I just want to dive into. I have read Jesus Calling quite a few times already. Um, I read up to, what is it, January 29th. Um, so almost a month's work. Uh, but yeah, I don't normally read this by like the date. I just read it as a normal book. I don't pay the date in mind. So we have that. Um, and then down here are like the rest of my devos and stuff like that and stuff. Um, so 
yeah that is these two rows um i have one more row of books to do on the other side on my other bookshelf actually two because i'm going to organize the kid books as well um to see but i think taking three books off is good i took three books off i actually will probably stick some more books here so let me actually go get those books because i'm trying to figure out where to put them so i'm going to grab those books and show you guys those real quick okay so i bought these books back and um these i call coffee table books they're kind of like the books that you put on your coffee table so people can look at and browse through they have really nice images and photos and stuff like that and so um yeah they're pretty much i think most of these are devotional or prayer books or simple things like that um most of these are either two from bh books two from thomas lawson and this i don't even know where i got this from but um this i don't even think it's christian related i just thought it was really really pretty um because it's pink it's called besties by leah leah renna gorn um so i'm probably gonna put this on my other book show but it literally just has really nice images throughout um i love everything it's called besties um so yeah i like this i'm probably gonna put this on my other bookshelf though because i don't think it's christian related um then the two from thomas nelson i have are 100 days of thanks which is a devotional and then prayers for you um they're really pretty coffee table books that actually have prayers throughout um so i'm just gonna stick it here 100 days of thanks is literally just a devotional with gorgeous images throughout and it leaves space for questions so we're gonna stick that down take this journal down and stick this over here and stick this journal on top i said journal but it's a really a planner stick it right there on top uh, then the next two I have are from BH Books. This is Open Door Living by Jen Schmidt. Um, from she's an encouraged author. Um, from BH Books, like I said, and um, I like the watercolor designs throughout. Um, and it has like some recipes throughout. So we're just gonna stick it there. And then I have Friendship Promises. Two are better than one. Ecclesiastes four and nine. Really pretty book um and again i'm just gonna stick it there but it has like really nice images um really pretty calligraphy if i can get to the page with scripture um and it's just a really simple book a really simple nice one that i like that will be nice for the coffee table and so um we're just gonna stick it here i still have a little bit more space so i'm just gonna probably like move these down um like that for now in case there's anything extra i need to throw on here that i find around the room but um yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and i'll see you guys for part three which will be the final one that i have for you because i don't think there's any other books that i need to organize but um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye